Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Battle Brothers. I have no idea why I'm out in the middle of nowhere. There we are. And we are going to continue right where we left off. We were in town. We were considering buying someone because we are clearly human traffickers at this point. But that's not what we're going to do. We were going to protect a caravan, if I'm not wrong, or at least attempt it. And... I remember having this all set, now I don't remember where I wanted to go. Felmirn. Mirn. Felmirn. Or, well, I guess that's it. Alright, we're going to give it a shot again. We're going to try another caravan protection type deal. We'll probably have to wait till daytime, maybe? It's almost day. I'm going to try to sit here and see if I can't buy before the night ends. It looks like we're going to lose our caravan if we wait. Mm -hmm. Curse you, caravan. Curse you for being so fast. It's weird. When you don't want it to go quick, it goes ridiculously fast. When you do want it to go quick, meh. Meh. It says meh to us. Hey. Sure, we can do that. We can do that. Alright, let's actually throw that on one of the Battle Brochims. Kernan Marks, looks like you're getting a new hat. Welcome. Oops. Welcome abroad. I suppose I should select him before giving him the hat, huh? Probably a good idea. Well, Battle Unit 3 will give you this. Anyone else needing anything? Yeah, not really. You have 60 and you have 40. Okay. Well, I suppose we could put it on you, sir. We have a double, a do double. We have a double leather cap going here. And we shall see how it all works out in the end. So we follow the caravan, a nice and slow leg. Also, our music just died. Oh, it's back. Hello. Hello, music. How are you? Ah, eh, you know, I'm doing what I do. It's fine. Okay, there's some uh, bird of birds over there floating around. And well, we have a long way to go. I'm hoping that I'm not going to have any interruptions throughout this. Uh, there's people upstairs. There's two dogs. And, and my dog, Katie... Not super happy about having another dog here, so she tends to come down here and pester me because she's like, Dad, Dad, there's another dog here. I don't like it. It's weird. I know I can speak dog. Most people can't, but yes, I can. So she's not super thrilled that there's another animal here. Um, of course, the daycare next door is always a wonderful, fun experience when they decide to play right outside the window here. Hopefully that's not going to be the case. We'll see, though. We shall she. And I'm doing one of the daytime recordings again, guys. What? I know, it's a rare and beautiful thing. Normally I've been asleep most days until, well, a little later in the day. Alright, um, is there anything worthy of us? 183, I don't think I can pass that up in good conscience. But if I do buy that, I'm going to be broke. That's a tough one. I think we're going to pass. However, what we're not going to pass on is I suppose we have enough oomph to actually repair these. Now, so we shall do that. We shall keep this one here. And there we go. All right. Onward, trading caravan. Slightly faster, please. I'm hearing more and more voices in the background, folks. I'm not sure what they are. I'm assuming it's the daycare. We'll see. I may end up having to close my window, which means it's going to get warm in here, and then I'm going to be miserable and sad, and you guys will laugh at me and mock me openly. Or closedly. I don't know. One of those two things is probably true. It will be said, yay for caravan and no sort of horrible monster trying to eat my face yet. And there it is, guys. There it is. So we shall do a few things here. We are going to go down here. We are back. Without missing a beat, guys. Had to close the window there, so the temperature and the heat is on. And I muted myself so you didn't hear me cursing the name of the small children. Actually, I don't know the name of the kids. But if I did, boy, oh boy, would they be getting cursed right now. My wife's not a big fan of uh, small children. She's like, I hate kids. I'm like, what do you mean you hate kids? You have two kids. Yeah, but they're mine. That's different. How is that different? Uh, yeah, my wife, I tell you. She's insane sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. She is insane sometimes. Probably most of the time, but eh, you never can tell. I thought I actually put my dog outside. I'm not sure if she's still out there. I'm hoping no one let her back in, but maybe, maybe she wanted to back in. It's possible. 
Does this mean that we're actually going to be able to make it all the way to Felmern without getting attacked by anything? I was, come on, I'm hoping for like a small group of bandits that are like, hey, free money, and then I kill them. And then I'm like, hey, you're right, it was free money for me. And the bucket of slugs, of course. But it doesn't look like we're getting any sort of ambush luck here. Or any luck really at all when it comes to battles. I mean, we're sure we're doing missions, we're getting some cash, we're, you know, we're doing stuff, it's working. And even through the window, I hear those loud people. That's a little redonkadonk, it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. So today's going to be an interesting... Yeah, we're not going to the Boar Skull Camp. That looks like that would be an orc encampment. Yep, green skins. So indeed, it is an orc encampment. And let us hope that we do not have to deal with any young orcs yet, because, again, we probably won't survive it. Just saying. We are in Swamplands now. And man, Felmern is way out in the boonies, isn't it? Jeez, who wants to live out here? Right next to a, uh, an orc camp off the side of the road there. I mean, that's easily within raiding distance. I don't know. Felmern, probably not going to be long for this world, I'm just saying. Yet, we'll sit here and wait. Eventually, the caravans shall meet up. And victory shall be ours. And we're going to get a big influx of crowns. I think it was like 840? Yeah, I was going to say 860. But yeah, we're up to almost 977 now. Let's take a look at who is here. Nah. Volker, true shot. We'll reach the old guard, the retired uh, soldier. We have Gerhard, the fisherman. Eh. I kind of want to get one of these guys, but eh, I might. I might. Let's, let's see. What, oops, not that. Let's see what they have for sale here. Eh, some decent stuff. Tools are way overpriced here. I'm kind of wishing I got the tools from the other place. But even though I did not. That's okay. So 70 to 100 versus 30 to 50. And this is 70 to 100 as well. Oh, so they're... Huh. Interesting. So, technically, they're kind of the same. Except this has more effectiveness versus armor, the billhook does, as opposed to the pike. And it's not that much more expensive. They have the same attack. I'm going to get the pike this time, guys. I don't know if that's the right play. I'm probably I'm pretty certain it's not the right play, but we're going to get it anyway. We're going to outfit our pitchforker for now. I just want to see what the attack changes, what happens here. Oh, we have repel again with this, as opposed to the, the hook ability to pull him back. Okay, that's pretty neat. So I think we'll have one with a bill hook and one without. Okay, and we can actually sell some of this stuff. Alright, so we're going to have, like I said, we're going to have three Macemen slash Hammer Dudes. So it's probably going to be Solar Lancer, it's going to be Battle Unit 3, and Conrad Key are going to be our our clubbers, as it were. Our bludgeoners, our, me our not melee combatants, but our uh, blunt weapon users. So, that being said, I think we can sell one of the Pitchforks. Let's sell the club the club or stick as it were we'll sell one of the falchions and we'll go over here something like that that should be okay and we're still decently well off um hmm i'm gonna get the hunter let's see what he is volker once took a bet to shoot an apple off a pig's head he missed with a belly full of bacon he became determined to never miss again Unless it meant more bacon, of course. Sadly, a bad game of peasant roulette forced the deer hunter into seeking other means of income. Not entirely without faults, Volk Volker, or Volker is a professional bowman, nonetheless. You are now our professional bowman. Welcome, welcome, sir. Alright, additionally, you're going to get renamed. You are no longer Volker, true shot. You are going to be... Oh, let's see here. Hmm... We're going to have a Mr. Preek. Mr. Preek. The Shoe Pew. The Shoe Pew. No, um... The True Pew. Yeah, we'll do it. Sure. The True Pew Pew. There we go. I like it. Mr. Preek, the True Pew Pew. What? Alright. It's all well and good. He is decked out somewhat okay. Not great ranged skill, but still far better than Ghost. But Ghost has a crossbow. He doesn't need better. Also, we can sell the other bow now as well. 
which is pretty freaking sweet. Ooh, he even came with a, a boar spear. That's pretty amazing. We're going to steal that from him, though. Because despite him actually getting that and it being somewhat amazing, we don't want him to have it. All right, now how does this compare? Oh, the, the bludgeon's actually better. Huh, sort of. The low end's better, the high end's worse. Eh. And this is way more effective versus armor. Okay. We will have one spearman for this, and we got the really, really good spear as well. Which makes me pretty happy. I'm not sure who I'm going to turn into the spearman. I think Hagen's going to stay as a one-handed axeman. So I need one more ranged and one more melee. And I gotta think this through here. Alright, so we have Toolmac. Okay, I think he's gonna stay. A squire usually uses a sword and a shield, so. Eh, a knight does eventually. So maybe Kiernan marks, and then we call him Slashy. If we took away his sword, he wouldn't be Slashy now, would he? Well, perhaps he wants to be one of those jousting knights that we've all heard so much about, so we'll give him the boar spear. There we go, Toolmac, the Lost Squire of the Spear Hood. He is now set with that. I like it. Everybody seems to be pretty decently set up now. We only need to utilize one sword. We can sell this and this. Okay. It's looking fairly decent for us. Let's hope we can actually find a fight. Because that's going to be the goal, the hope, the dream. The dream will be real if we actually find a battle. We'll see, though. Um, ooh, we are low on food. Oh, we have to buy some of super expensive food. Not sure why we're so low on food, but I suppose we have just been wandering around. Wait, 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 go back to the town. What do we have here? Raise the backstabber's hideout. Uh, what else do we have? Raise the backstabber's hideout. Let me guess. Oh, reach a weed -a mark. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at this real quick, just to see what it is. 520, I think it's 520 for both. 530, ooh, we can get 10 more out of this guy. Alright, let's pause and take a look at where this... Ooh, slightly weaker. Alright, we're going for it, guys. We're going for it. We're going to go, and hopefully we don't starve to death. Actually, we will starve to death. Well, let's, uh, let's make sure that doesn't happen. There, that should be enough food, I would assume. Nope. Hmm. Is it now? It is now. Oh, for three days. Okay. So we have enough food for three days. That's going to be nice. We're going to go, hopefully, to the Backstabber's hideout in a decent spot. Maybe they'll sally forth to do battle with us. And that will give us a small advantage. No, don't let it be night. I do not want a night battle. Ooh, oh, oh, okay. So we're up against some undead. I thought for sure those were going to be bandits, but okay. All right, we're gonna fight some undead early on, guys. This is gonna be um, interesting. It's nine to, it's ten to nine. Hmm. Well, we'll find out whether we have what it takes to do battle with these guys early on or not. All right. Well, there's no armor to ignore, so we're just gonna. Ooh, we failed. All right, we're gonna skip his turn. We can fire at him. Oh, we missed. We almost murdered our own ally there. That would have been bad. And what do we... we have no shot. What if we move here? Do we have a shot? We still have no shot. Alright, we're going to skip your turn. We're probably going to move up here or something. We'll move here, and I am actually quite concerned. Most of them don't seem to have weapons, though. Only this guy has a weapon. And, of course, the ghouls can bite us, which is not great. Oh, boy. Things are starting to look bad already, folks. Things are starting to look bad already. Will we survive the ghoul's onslaught? That is the question. As it stands right now, I have no idea. I really don't know. We're going to hope. I'm actually very, very nervous. We'll see. Again, the first early part of the game, that is the most challenging at this point. I'm sure the end game, the battles can be really nasty and you can just die, like, you get insta-gibbed, as they say. But... For the most part, you would assume that's not going to be the case, right? Alright. I guess we're going to shield wall. For the majority of our folks, I probably should have shield walled for the rest of our guys as well, but... 
Uh, you know how I am. I do bad things. Alright. Let's hope we can survive whatever fallout's going to happen. Oh, I'm so concerned right now. <laughs> eh. Okay, we lived. Sorry, the manly cries are coming out, guys. It's true. It's true. Try not to be overly impressed. I'm just a man. Oh! Get wrecked. What? Oh, and we missed. That's shameful. Okay. I'll take to the high ground here, and 18%. Oh, he is not the best marksman we've ever seen. Alright, 31%. Ooh, we landed it. What? Make a wish. Alright, and the stab and victory is ours. Okay, um... Super duper hesitant, but... I think we're gonna have to try to make the plays, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna have to do our best to make the plays. Alright, can we bonk him? Come on, bonk! Yes! Alright. It's a little less danger. He tried to gnaw on us. We do not gnaw on our... Who is he? Toolmac. I'm still worried about this guy with his uh, long range. Okay. I keep hitting. We're going for broke, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. And hold the line there. Ooh, he decided to uncharacteristically close with us, which I'm not entirely certain about, but okay. Good, we got another stab off. We can't do anything with him. We can move here. Unfortunately, we can't attack. Oh, oh I could have attacked there. That was a foolish move. Alright. Okay, there's no more bites coming our way from these guys. Okay, we missed that one. We got a shield wall. We're going for the stab on him. All right, we brought him down. Sweet, sweet, nice style. Good, 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 good. Keep it together, guys. All right, Mr. Prick, please land your shot. Ah, 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 you missed. Ah, ah, okay, you totally missed. All right, who we got here? Kiernan Marks. So what can you do, good sir? I think right now your best thing to do is sit there and look cool. Can you do it? Now we have Toolmac coming over here, and he is going to utilize the shield wall. The solar lancer's like, bonk. Hey, I said bonk. Ooh. Apparently you cannot bonk these guys. That's a bit unfortunate. And we missed that shot. Alright, Conrad Key's like, what's up? Yeah, alright. The... Uh-oh. Uh okay. Some of the danger is now negated. I wouldn't say all of it. Oh! Say goodbye to your head. And... Ooh, another big nasty hit. And that's it for him. Can we attack? We can. Very nice. Alright, we're gonna go for a double swing there. Things are looking pretty good. I also realized I left myself online. Hopefully no one bothers... Uh-oh. Me. That makes me concerned. He ate. That means he is now more powerful than he was before. Oh, boy. This is not great. Oh, we landed an attack. Oh, and another one. <laughs> oh, I forgot how bad the archers were in the beginning of this. Alright, we got another guy killed off. And we're gonna wait our turn. This guy's gonna oh gnaw on our guy once again. Oh, can we kill him? Yes we can. Alright. Alright, 32%. We missed. Eh, it is what it is. Alright, I'd much prefer him not to be able to chew on a body, if at all possible. That being said, bam. Alright, we're down to the remaining two individuals that we must keep at bay. There's no way to be sure whether we can do this or not. Things are looking fairly decent right now, though. I mean, we've pinned them in. We've done some work with a few of our folks. I think I'm going to move here and just wait and see. Uh oh, I forgot that they resurrect. I did, actually. Totally forgot. It just slipped my mind. Eh, hang in there, buddy. Okay, the problem is solved immediately, which is fantastic. Well done, good sir. Well done, Jonathan Wolf. I, I forgot to make mention of you, sir. You have been doing quite a bit of work, as our polearm users almost always manage. Alright, we're going to go for the bonk on this guy, or the slash on this guy from Kiernan Marks. No such luck. Do we have the shot? We do. It's not great. 6%, and we hit our own guy because we're awesome. We're going to try it again. 
All right, we missed again that time. That's okay. It's not great. All right, Conrad Key, what do you got, buddy? Nice hit, and oh, no such luck. Eh, no such luck again. Hagen, von Steinberg, yeah. Let's see here. All right, good hit. Oh, you're fatigued already. We're gonna have to get that up. Your fatigue level is too low. And a bonk. Oh, he's fleeing. All right, that's good. Oh, can we defeat him? Oh, not quite. We're close. We were so close. All right, he should flee and die, which might make him freak out and run. Yes, he did. Victory, ladies and gentlemen. We defeated someone dead. That's so much better than the last episode, guys. I do apologize for the last episode. All the running around and stuff kind of sucked. And somebody pointed out that, um... Oh, what was it? That it looked like the caravan actually survived the attack, but what happened was I actually outranged the vision of the enemy. So, like, you only have a certain amount of vision around your character, right? So, I moved a certain distance away where I still saw the caravan, and it looked to like it looked like the uh, hunting pack actually disappeared or lost. And then I moved slightly further away than that, and then the caravan disappeared. The reason I know the caravan didn't win that is because... The group, the hunting pack was originally challenging, right? And the caravan, I think, was even, or maybe slightly weaker, or something like that. By the time I made it to the caravan, and apparently my click didn't go through to actually do the combat, the caravan went from even down to, I think it was like slightly weaker, weaker, and then puny. Whereas the enemy went from challenging to even, which it didn't happen until I had already started to run away. So, yeah, there's no way the puny was going to defeat the even. No way. All right, let's take a look. We have four level ups. Yep, four level ups, and everyone did something. Everybody pulled their weight. Nice, very nice. All right, we're gonna go and we're going to get some fat treasure loots. And nothing really great, but that's some sweet, sweet cash monies and uh, some vendor food and whatnot. So yeah, we'll take it. We will most assuredly take it. And we actually completed the mission, which is fantastic for all those scoring at home. It is really, really good, and my puppy just entered the room. She's going to come over here and bug me now, so if you guys hear noises and annoyances, that is what it is. All right, we're going to head back to Felmern. You can hear her flapping around in her doggy door. And junk and stuff. All right, so once we get back here, we'll be able to turn in the quest. We'll have even more cash to work with. I think our equipment should be repaired as well by then. Crowns will deserve. We're going to wait out the night time and, I don't know, the light is shining off the car next to me. Or in the driveway next to the window and it's blinding me. It's not great. Come on. There it is. It is now dawn. It is the dawn of a new age. It is the dawn of a new age. Alright, we're going to sell that, that, and that. But I'm not sure what to do after that. I guess we'll get some more food, because, well, you know how we are. And we actually have a decent supply of cash monies. Um, going to buy that, and I think we're going to sell one of these. And I, I'm not sure what to do after this. Um, let's go throw this hat on someone. They could definitely utilize it. I think Kiernan Marks can even use this one. Sorry, folks, oh, the puppy is still making noises around me. Uh, yes, he can. Give Kiernan that. Let's take a look. Um, I just kind of want to go right down the line, so we'll just give it to Battle Unit 3. And then we'll put that on Conrad Key. And then that can stay there for whoever we get next. Alright, let's level our folks up. We get perks again. Fast adaptation is just—it's one of my favorite skills, guys. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, "Get that one!" I can't, because again, I'm feeling like that's gonna be a waste. But I could be totally wrong. Maybe that is gonna be the key to getting the early start I need and the advantage over all the enemies. I'm not sure. I feel like it's gonna be a waste, so that's why I'm skipping it. For all those scoring at home. Okay, let's see. Kiernan Marks. Fatigue is a little low. Your health is a little low, too. Alright, we need a little bit more health for now. We'll try to get you up to around 60, and then we'll switch over to your maximum fatigue, and then maybe your initiative. I'm not sure. But for now, that's fine. Ghost! Welcome abroad, sir! 
fast adaptation for you, so if you miss the first shot, you might land the second one, which could be sweet, sweet, nice. Right, we're going to give you ranged skill, ranged defense. I still see the people's point about uh, ranged defense not being super useful, but if you get in a range versus range war, you always want to have that ranged defense. Though it still doesn't seem to be that useful. I assume that the developers are going to be implementing more ranged units right now. If I'm not wrong, it's only the bandit marksmen that are ranged. So that is a bit, eh, you know, kind of interesting and such. Alright, I think our initiative is actually fairly high already. But our morale is pretty low, or our resolve. I think we'll go one point in hit points, and then the rest will pump into other things. So, Ghost is set up. Battle Unit 3. Battle Unit th 3. Alright, there we go. Throw that there, and of course we must level up your skills. Okay, and seems like a lot of people have like negative health perks or something. I don't know. It's a little bit weird. Yeah, you do have negative health perks. Wow, you're terrible at combat. But boy, oh boy, do you gain experience quickly. That's okay, but boy are you optimistic, Battle Unit 3. Which is totally different than the actual Battle Unit 3 guy. He is not so optimistic. He's like, I don't want to go into combat, I'm gonna die! Yeah. I, I can't say I blame him, I mean, we all saw, he's like, first combat, he just walks up, first turn, boom, arrow to the eye. It wasn't great, I can see why he would be upset with that. I can definitely see it. Alright, we're gonna go with this, and your health is already ridiculously good. So what we're gonna do is start pumping your fatigue, your fatwag. Your fatagui. There we go. Alright. And everyone is leveled, and is there any other missions for us here? I think probably. Reach Wiedemark. Is that the same one? Or Ruzdorf. Uh, Ruzdorf's a bit closer, but we're about out of time, so I'm going to take that mission, start heading over there, and I am going to break off the episode, ladies and gentlemen. We'll stop at Ulhart on the way, and that's where we're going to end this episode. So hopefully you guys had a little bit more fun this time watching me crush the undead. Yes, I was scared. Yes, I made little girly man sounds. It's totally fine. In the end, we were victorious. No one died. I'm not sure anyone got hurt. I think we lost some armor health. Armor health? Is that a thing? I don't know. If it's a thing, fantastic. If it's not, eh, so be it. Um, we're decent on food. We have a fair amount of cash monies on hand. And we're going to buy up another Battle Brother relatively soon. So, everything's kind of working out to our advantage. Let's take a look at who we have here. We have Randolph, and then we have Randolph. But this one's mad. This one's just normal. He's not upset. A grave robber and a cultist. Yeah, I don't really like any of these people. Nope. Nope. And Roderick the Minstrel. Nope. None of those folks are for me. We are going to ignore them and continue before we leave. Come on. Um, yeah, still not super good pricing on anything, huh? That is okay. We're going to, st we are going to leave. We're going to head up to the Foothill Keep. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you had some fun. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will catch you guys next time with more Battle Brothers. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.